56 hasn't died more often. Any case. <clears throat> 3, 2, 1, A, go. That's what it's supposed to look like. I can probably turn this up some. I can actually hear it again. But I turned it down a bit too much. Because <clears throat> I thought the mic was picking it up. It's picking up all my controller stuff. Oh, I need to slide it back some. Which I will do in just a second. Uh, let's not get stuck on corners. Ow. Okay. Yeah, it's picking up even me pressing B lightly. <laughs> Probably still need to turn it down some, but that's better than it just being open the entire time and going <laughs> I mean, Kazi and Mungo said it wasn't, but I don't know. I don't know. I just don't like to see it doing that. I believe him. forward to Friday getting Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Be a fun time. And we'll be probably streaming that playthrough. Just because I'm excited for it. Hopefully my HDMI stuff will play nice because I think my splitter's messed up. I couldn't get it to work. I tested it a while back. Which reminds me, I should just buy a new one. Maybe. You know, it was... I don't know if it was... I don't think it, my thing was broken because... It was sending signal... To my, um... Paper Media thingy. Capture card. But it wasn't sending signal to the monitor... That we were using. And we switched where the cords are plugged in, and even me they still work, so I'm wondering if, uh... Just the monitor, for whatever reason, doesn't play nice with the splitter. In which case, I might have to figure out, just change the way it's plugged in. Have a good guess on how it's supposed to actually work. There's a good chance we didn't get a bunny here. We made lots of little mistakes. Even though the time is fine. Lots of dumb stuff, so it should be up. Yep. Okay, we got the bunny. Or I actually normally get it. You always miss that second attack, no matter what. Whether it's a spell or not. Kinda interesting. It's consistently missing. Mm, I still haven't highlighted that 206. I don't like that run. I don't like that run at all. But can I press down C please, game? Thank you. I do drop. I do drop. <sighs> Just don't want to see big mouths ever. They are slow. Close this though. Can we all get out of this in one turn? That sucks. Two turns. Ugh. Three turns? Ooh, I am on the line there. 
That was bad. Ugh. Oh yeah? I haven't had a chance to watch it all the way through. Figured it was quite a good run though. What did he do differently? frozen for way more than just one turn. Come on, phone. Play nice. I don't like touch screens. Oh yeah, no, I get that Spirit Gemstone too, actually. <laughs> These guys rip any time save that that would have been coming towards. That's annoying. Here's the worst. Worst. I have 17. I actually would like one encounter right here. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Thank you. I needed to know how much I hate them. Uh, 1923. Can I please? Big mouths are the worst.
that last run was a shame because this was actually a pretty good um, counter forest. Except the grinding counter was laggy, but the counter forest itself was quite good otherwise. Can't press buttons right tonight. She can't do it. Cat did it. Laggy. Also helps that they're hitting every time, but well, most of the time. So I'm not gonna say no to that. That is very unfortunate. In the castle. What is the castle? Not sure what you're referring to, because there's a lot of castles. very beginning not sure what you're referring to man or really when I think is the bigger issue here Beginning. Oh, 
up. You can see if this after silvering. Alright. Why can we skip this? <laughs> Not an encounter for that. Just bad. I don't need defense, game. I'm off. I have the patience to play this game right now. Four bats is optimal. Two of these guys is also alright. Great. As long as I roll 32. Not a 32, thank you game. It's me exactly at 77. So it's 61. <sighs> Rip any time save. Garbaggio. I really need to play another game. This game gets me too irritated of late. Just because I want a good run. Okay, thank you, laser. Do laser. Eh. Miss. Not you, Brian. Four. Xenoblade will definitely be a more common game. <laughs> I roll 24. He had 23 health. Yeah, don't miss having Solvering being a sketchy fight. Don't miss it one bit. Not at all. Counter, please.
Oh, I have escape. Yeah. Um, a dum dum. Oof, these encounters. Not good. I don't know if it's necessarily just that it's quest, I think it's more that I've lost several runs that would be quite good at the end of the game. Just crap RNG. That's really where my salt is. Why is my agility way lower than normal? slower than normal to get to where I normally would be. I don't know. There should be like 50 and change, like 50 and a half or something. too early for it to register.
Press the C button over there. Guys, I promise I'm really good at this game. Despite my best efforts to make it look like I'm not. when I can't step out. Can we not do this? Thanks. are all I need. Fives would be nice. Sixes would be great. <sighs> I mean, I did get the one five, so I'm technically one up where I would normally be, but still. But still. Hey, lazy scientist. Yes, indeed. are people who actually like this and make the mistake, I mean, speedrun it.
Phone encounters. Stop it. Stopping by. Hope you enjoy the quest in all its RNGesus glory and some of the glitches that you'll see soon. Out of bounds in particular. Yeah, sounds about right. Most uh, most times people when they talk about this game, it's like, I remember renting it from Blockbuster and getting stuck on the first boss. It's the first boss is uh, really hard, or I, I evenly leveled out um, all my spirits, which, as it turns out, is actually a mistake. Unless you're doing a staff-only playthrough. Staff-only should only be done on JP. And then, like, three hours anyway. Assuming you allow, uh, buffs. <laughs> Otherwise it'd be miserable and be forever. Hey Vice, you should do a staff-only Game Boy Quest run. <laughs> That's clearly going to be a great time. Actually, it might not be that bad, I don't know. I don't know how much power staff would actually, uh... That's not... Escape, thank you. That's a little... Do yeah, so little melee in, uh, Game Boy Quest, I'm not sure. Yeah. That's just Wind Cutter 3. Seriously, you just- you get Wind Cutter 3. <laughs> I wish it was that easy, Lazy. I wish it was that easy. Ugh, if you could buy repels or get repels in this game, oh my god. This run would be like 30 minutes shorter. <laughs> Out of bounds might not even be necessary. That's I apparently double click that. And just pretend that didn't happen, guys. That was special. Please, I'm pressing right C, come on! <laughs> yeah. It would be much easier if you could buy items in general. Oh, that's one of the spots that lags. I did spend that extra bit of time grinding agility, but whew, this is still not good at all. Oh, I'm probably gonna lose a bit of time in this split. Most likely.
And encounter now. It's kinda late. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Gotta find a way to skip bosses or something. I'm sure something Task could do is hit B and then C immediately and close and open the menu while moving slightly. Just completely skip like Guilty and uh, Bogus. Probably would be worth it because you would be moving so little. It'd be kind of cool to see. You can call it low percent or something. He'd still hit me every single time, though. He's a rude dude. I'm just gonna grab two spirits and a chest over here and then go out of bounds right here. You just have to run over and grab the stuff real quick. Thankfully I'm faster than him. Hey Shadow, how's it going dude? I apologize if anyone gets offended by me saying dude to everyone. I'm doing alright, how about yourself? I'm as alright as one can be while being very salty about this game. <laughs> so, you know. Um, we have really low HP. Need him to not do that. Great. Oh, yeah. American. That's the, that was the question. American or <sighs> real football? For the lack, or for the sake of, uh, you know. Here we go. Not a bad out of bounds. Not great either. All right, for those of you who have no idea what I just did. Um, that is the battle arena clip. You take your movement arena, you create a really tight corner on certain spots in the game, you walk into said corner, and the game freaks out and pushes you out of bounds. There only exists, as far as we know, two spots that exist in the game where you can go out of bounds without your battle arena. Um, Americans in general, uh, there's too many to say that. I, I think I think your average American would call American football football and what you would call real football soccer. Yeah, what Pi Tin said. Really depends on the American. If you're gonna go for like the super generic average American, probably would call American football football and uh, normal football soccer.
<laughs> yes, you can. Um, you have to go too close. So basically, imagine that the the uh, the dungeon is a line like this. What they did is they intentionally took the spray can from paint and painted the encounter area slightly larger than <laughs> that path across. So if I'm just within that range of uh, you know where you could get encounters, I can get encounters. But if I'm way out in the middle of nowhere, there is no encounter zones out here. Yes, U.S. Women's Team is extremely good. Men's not so good. Yeah. I think they need a real coach. A real non-American coach, probably. <laughs> be quite honest. Alright, we're doing agility glitch here. And blink. I don't need to match like that. I just, I like to. It feels good. Oh, that's not what I meant to do! The game took eight years to deload everything. There we go. <clears throat> the agility glitch, um, when you are faster than an enemy, you can skip your turn before the game loads up the encounter completely. So, uh, important to know, there's three types of agility training. Uh, towns, lowest amount of agility. Uh, overworld, where you can't get into encounters, the second most agility. And battles, the most agility. So the, the initiative glitch assumes you go from the previous battle to the current battle as if you moved within a battle. So you get a lot more experience. Agility experience, that is. At least that's our guess. I don't think anyone's really looked into it super hard, but that's kind of what it looks like the case is. made me start speedrunning quests. I actually like this game. Um, I remember seeing Kirk Q play it way back when, and I was always, I always kind of planned on learning it, but I didn't like that it was glitchless. So I've, I've known about speedrunning uh, since basically when Dark Souls got released on PC. So that's about, because I, it was uh, 2011. Around that time I tore my ACL and got bedridden for a while, and I learned, uh, my friend brought over his computer and we played Dark Souls co-op a lot. And I learned about Dark Souls speedrunning, and I started speedrunning a game called Caster. And eventually I found Kirk Q playing this. Right, that was only four. Uh, Kirk Q playing this, and I, I watched some of his uh, glitchless runs, and I remembered how much I actually liked this game. Um, what really got me into running it though was the glitches that were found, cloning, the eventual out of bounds stuff. Like that really, that really kind of cemented my desire to run it. I was always kind of like, eh, I'll learn it, but I don't like. I didn't like the glitchless run because it's super RNG heavy, and also Kirk Hughes. If you want to watch a really good run, watch Kirk Q's Any% percent run, the 2-hour, two, two 22 minutes or something. His run is extremely good. It's fantastic RNG. I don't think anyone will really ever beat that run in a glitchless uh, run. It's very good. Oh, what, what am I doing? I don't need to... Eh, this doesn't hit me. It's fine. So this is gonna be sketchy, since I have a lot lower HP than I normally do. And we're actually not gonna lose as much time as I thought I was going to. If we can two-shot them, we might actually even gold! Nope. Scratch that. I'm not even gonna hit him once. Come on, don't do that. He might kill me? No idea how much damage. He 
might do. One. Oh, come on. I need to bait out the mid-range attack like that. Three. This is not a good fight. I mean, that's fine. Four or five. I'm, like, just missing him. Four, actually, not five. Um, don't walk. That's not what I want you to do. Oh, no, please? <laughs> that was sketchy. I got super lucky that he did that. Can I? There we go. Five. Whatever. Alright. Going for it. Not a good call, I just killed my- oh! And no, I didn't kill myself. I got lucky. But I used the wrong MP item. I cannot replace that. That's unfortunate. That hurts, actually. That hurts a lot. That's not good. Not good at all. Means I will have to pick up uh, an item in. Oh. That's not what I want to do either. In Shamwood. Come on, camera. Welcome back. Oops. Sorry, you're in hell. Hey, uh, that's where he lives. I think, right? Tells me what the items are in Shamwood, and I know what they are, I just need to know which one's which. I don't remember. I have to pick up an extra MP item. <laughs> Sorry, D Magician. I found it, um, I was in Ireland two years ago now? A year ago? Last July. Last July. I got it for. I think I found it, um, for 12 euro. But that was Holy Magic Century, which you don't want to play because it's slu. Yeah, unfortunately, the best named one is also the slowest version. But you should be able to go to American Amazon and probably get it shipped to you. So, might not necessarily be cheap either. But you can always emulate it. As much as I'm sure people aren't preferable to that. Alright. Go in the first spirit, hopefully get an encounter immediately, and then go out of bounds. Maybe not. So not that quick either. Let's hit one, not the other.
In actuality, I probably don't want to actually go out of bounds twice this time. Just because my MP is really low. And I'm also getting all these two monster encounters, which is actually not preferable. Not preferable at all. I always seem to get an encounter right before that spirit up there, so that it takes a while for this encounter to happen. This is like the opposite of what I want to happen. We're going the slightly slower route. We're going to be inbounds for the first two spirits, or these next two spirits. And then hopefully go out of bounds immediately. I do need to know what my agility is when we get over there, though. It is kind of important. I think I've only ever gotten a good route once so far in a run. Every other time's been this. This isn't bad. The good route has the potential to be like... I want to say almost a minute faster. Especially if you can get the out-of-bounds very quickly. This could potentially also be that time, but this relies on lots and less encounters as opposed to Out of Bounds, which relies on two encounters at the right time. Also, I don't think going Out of Bounds um, and picking up that spirit is after the second, or when you're moving towards the uh, Blue Cave is faster. You have to go too far south to get back to that. I think it's too out of the way. You don't save enough time just turning right there, really. So I'm using a rock jar because I need MP, and each hit of that spell gives me just a bit of experience. So the more it hits, the more experience I get. And the more um, MP I have, I want 21. 22 is nice. 21 is necessary, really. 22 makes it nice because mint leaves only give you 20, and if you have 22, you end up with 1. Use a mint leaf, you're at 21. Nice and convenient. What is your favorite category? Any percent. I actually don't like this category. Um, I don't like all spirits, I find it quite boring. Not so much now, it's better than it was because it was very similar to any percent, except you did less. Like, you had to go around more, but you did less, uh, you didn't do the death tube, and you didn't do as many out-of-bounds, but now there's this out-of-bounds, which is much different. Come on. There we go. That was extremely good. US any percent is my favorite. I'm not a I'm not a big 100 percenter unless I really really love a game. And while I do love this game, the 100 percent well the all spirits category is arguably tedious because you don't do anything more than just collect more stuff. Not particularly interesting to me. Safer category for sure. 
So if you want to start speedrunning quest, I would highly suggest this category over any percent. As fun as Death Dupe looks, you're gonna spend a lot of time not getting that Death Dupe. A lot. If you're anything like me, you'll mess it up the first couple times anyway. Oh, hello. Why are you running it? Uh, because my splits below me are currently PB and also the world record, but it is not a good run. I want there to be a good run for people to watch if they want to watch this category. Also, I would like drifting to run it so I have competition, because competition makes times go down, which is fun. I enjoyed that. Fortunately, I think Drifting hopped off that boat real quick. <laughs> Not that I blame him, he has to play this game. And it wears on you if you can't deal with RNG. Oh, oh, okay. So you have Marathon, never mind. I for. You did mention that. I'm sorry, dude. For some reason, I thought you just, like, were done with it. <laughs> That's fair. No worries, dude. Not trying to call you out only because you're the only other person that really runs this. So doing the out of bounds, uh, to the two, the double out of bounds or the single out of bounds, um, that second out of bounds saves a bunch of time. It's about minimum. I think the fastest I've walked through Blue Cave was like six minutes and twenty to get to Blue Maze. With or was it six minutes? Something like six minutes. And with the slightly slower route, which is the one I did this time. I was very consistently getting, like, five and a half, something like that. Maybe it was seven minutes. Either way, it was about a minute faster, but the, um, the double out of bounds, if done perfectly, was, like, even a minute faster than that. It was something goofy. It's pretty crazy. It just saves a lot of time because of not having to run the winding areas and not having to deal with encounters all the time. Granted, you lose out on grinding MP, but you can make up that later on in the run. It's not a huge deal, it's not necessarily preferable. For those of you wondering why I'm not using Rock Shower here, if you use Rock Shower against these bats, there's like a 90% chance the game crashes. <laughs> Just outright. If there's three or four bats, I'm pretty sure it crashes 100% of the time. If there's two or one bat, it doesn't always crash. I don't know if you can with one bat. Two bats you definitely can, but it doesn't always happen. But, um... I was lucky. One bat. Never played around with enough to know. I feel like I should try it, make a save state, and see if I can crash the game. Or make a save, really. Make a save with 34 earth and nothing else. Just enough to cast Rock Shower. Here's hoping we don't get a Grenok or Pixie encounter when we step into... <sighs> Isle of Sky. 
because the Pixie is 70 agility and the Granok is 75, and we are not gonna have that. We're not gonna have 70 for sure. Definitely not gonna have 75. And if we can get a any other enemy, pretty much, we will get a bunch of agility, which will be extremely nice. Sometimes when you can't see the battle arena. Uh, new. No, they're different. Avalanche's base damage is significantly higher. I think Avalanche. Each rock has a base damage of like. Th or like. Well, base power rather, not damage. Base power of like 360 or something. Ridiculous. And the rock is. significantly weaker. There's really nothing that comes close. 460? 460. Excuse me, it's it's a lot. <laughs> and the next closest thing is... I, I guess rock isn't that bad. But the next closest thing to 460 is like... Isn't it large cutter or something? Isn't that the next one? It's like 380 or something? I actively don't remember anymore. Each boulder has base power of 460, yes. 420, that's what it is. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, yeah, base power. Please! Please! I want agility! There's the fish stick. I can't do anything about it. He's faster than me. He's got the 75. That is the worst. That is the worst. Yes, look how quickly this is, this went. We could potentially gold split by a bunch here. Please? I almost hope that missed just so I could be done with this stupid run. Ugh. I'm salty about that. <laughs> Freaking right C actually work, please. One. Ooh. Alright, I'll take two. Read? Ah. Should have been a bunch of free time there. Oh, Vale. Only losing two seconds though isn't bad. We are way off the amount of agility we want. Way, way off. We're gonna do a bit of extra grinding. Thankfully it's only like three. I'll be the one, two, and three. Unless we get a Grangok the second time around, in which case, it's gonna be more. Uh, 
not preferable. No, mm, why are you? Ugh. Come on. These guys are so slow. Everything is so slow. God, no one's gonna want to watch this run. Bitching and moaning the entire time. Probably should just remove the camera and remove my mic so people don't hear me complaining the entire run. It's five. As soon as I have 68 agility, I'm gonna have 64. Just a minute. Sixty four, seventy two. I can't speak. Sixty eight, seventy two. Words are hard, man. All right, please, no pixie. Oh no, please, no Grangok. That's what I like to see. Thirty seven, perfect. Dum dum. Shh. And we're gonna die on this encounter, hopefully. By hopefully, I mean I don't. Hopefully, I don't accidentally kill the enemy, assuming I use rock shower or anything. They should kill me quick. Crow would actually probably be the fastest. Scarecrow, just because he's gonna hit the hardest. You, you lose like a minute or so doing this, because you need this agility. Out of shame. Okay, that was fine. They're still hitting really high, because I have a lot lower HP and defense than I normally would. Alright, we die there because uh, death warp back here, which is why we made a quick save. Because we have to come back to this boat. Hooray! I'll try to sound less excited. And now we're gonna grab out the stupidest spirit in the game. There is no indication that that spirit exists. Just zero indication whatsoever. You can't see it, no one mentions it, just there. There's not another one in any of the other cabins except that one. Which is why it's dumb. Good news is, we will have more than 84 agility, which is what we want. Am I roommate giggling loudly? So we do, even though it's slow, we do skip this one just because we need that uh, bit of agility. The fishmen are rather leggy, so I have 85. We are good. The fastest enemy in Baragoon Tunnel is a ghost with 84, which is why we needed that bit. We need to make sure that we're at least 84. There's no guarantee that we won't get a ghost first and completely ruin all the agility grinding that we did. Make it pointless for that particular run. And 
Now we go to Limelin. Eventually. Eventually. For the fastest route 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 Well, currently what's thought to be the fastest is grab this red wings, grab these two spirits, use the red wings, grab the red spirit or grab the red wings again, grab all the other spirits, use the red wings as you step out of the castle. So, there is a spirit on the dock down here. We don't need to run down to grab it, we can actually grab it from right here. A lot of spirits have weird hitboxes. If they're right next to the wall, it, it, for whatever reason, it like extends the hitbox to pick up the spirit, like past the wall. So there's a lot of spirits we can grab from weird spots like that. Comes down here again. Dude, please. I still really want to see a task this run because you could technically manipulate the entire run, which would be ridiculously insane. But the amount of time necessary to make this run would be insane. Like, imagine all the runs that have the re records and the. or the tasks with the re records and the several thousands. This would. or the. Hundreds of thousands, even this would be. Eh. If it was a perfect run, it would be uh, in the millions, I would think. Shame you can't pick up these spirits from the other side of the uh, fountain thing, memorial, whatever the heck it's supposed to be. Apparently, I can't pick them up at all, though. I'm also, shame we can't use the exit or return in this. Castle. Saves a bunch of time though, not having to run out here. do a compression out of bounds over that wall, but it would not save. Eh, it would probably save 30 seconds, <laughs> maybe, if done well, or luckily. Easily getting a one wyvern encounter compression and then setting up immediately. You'd be pushed over the wall to where that spirit is. Hey, see, thank you for the luck, I need it. As you can see, I'm about even with my PB, which is a shame because I should be way ahead. Way ahead.
I was in the Nefty fight a full minute and I think 10 or 20 before I normally would be, and the fight was eh. I could have saved, I could have had a gold there. I just had not a good fight. Healed. This is gonna be sketchy. Okay, he missed one, so actually not as sketchy as it could have been. 90. Alright. Oh, a lot of agility. Oof. 95 is the end goal. That makes us faster than uh, the white rose knight and the red rose knight. 95 being the White Rose Knight? I think they're faster than the Red Rose Knight. I don't remember. Alright, so the only out of bounds, we don't need anything but what exists in the game and not this encounter. So there's a nice convenient corner here that we're gonna walk into. Walk, not run. Eventually. There we go. And we're out of bounds. <laughs> game doesn't like it when you walk in corners. theme of the Out of Bounds nowadays. Actually already running in the spirit, good. I think I need to try routing this. I need to I need to change my out of bounds route for any percent for here and Blue Cave. come over here and drop down, but I don't think you need to even drop down. We could run straight over the second one, hit the wall like normal, do the normal portion of this. Technically, you could do the entire thing without doing any of that, but you wouldn't be able to see anything, and that would be super hard to do, because you'd be extremely high up. Well, you can kind of see the spirit where I'm going to be going off to the left down, like the bottom of the screen there. See it flicker once or twice. There it is. And that's where we're going to end up being down at that height. But that's... you can't see anything about that except where that spirit is flickering. We'll probably use that as well as... Alright, so we're good. We'll probably use that as well as the other spirits, maybe, to kind of line it up, but oof. I, I need to try it one time. It would probably be awful. Look, we're actually lower than the spirit, even. You end up anywhere from a Brian lower to a Brian higher, depending on where you hit that wall. But you're just about even with it, really. And that's what really matters. The issue here is that you have to run past this stuff on the right. And you have to go kind of north. 
or uh, kind of, uh, yeah, kind of north, but not really far north, because it's just mostly eastern. That was a bunch of time on the split. Not happy about that. Agility glitch. I should have 94, uh, give or take. Yep, 94.30, which is. Once we have 95, we're faster than everything um, in the next area. 95 being the Werecat. Drop out here because we we don't want to fight uh, Shill from out of bounds at the bad time. She'll be able to hit us. We won't be able to hit her. I'm just gonna drop back in, and we are going to lose a lot of time in the split. Blech. Depends on everything wants to play with the rest of this. Nice five. because the game just doesn't know, just kind of ignores it. Oh, please, that was right behind her. Agreed. Not a good play. Not a good play. She takes four rocks and change, so I hit her with one rock. She took about 730 from the other rock, so one. She was at 860 ish. Probably a bit more than that, but around 860. So she was fine to take a melee and a rock. One rock would have killed her, but had to melee to get some MP. Nice. Oh yeah, I split. <sighs> Going into here now. Actually, no, I don't. I split after I leave here. Split now. That's when I split. Because the timing... I changed some stuff. Oh, I... Ugh, that was dumb. I just wasted a bunch of time for everything. Oh, thankfully I didn't get hit, so whatever. Not as big a deal. I would have had a uh, 95, that's why I was... I should have done an agility glitch, but I wasn't really paying attention! So, you know. That'll do it. That is not... Man, I've been bad at pressing buttons today.
That's the nice thing about having this much agility. Don't have to fight. And double bonus, we didn't fight any werecats. We can't now. No more werecat encounters. I do want to see these guys in a bit, but not now. safety and it's not really that far out of the way so worthwhile to have time save on these splits so just not having, um, not taking a lot of damage and stuff, so my HP is a lot bit lower than it normally would be. I know my Roy Tang uh, Final Fantasy XIV, but whatever is going on is pretty funny. He's having a bit of a fit down there. As long as he's enjoying it. Alright. So we can save... Uh, oh no, we can't save time on the split because... Um, but was almost freaking ridiculous. I need to have a very good out of bounds to stay even. That is the struggle here. I'm just getting all of the encounters, thankfully. Big deal. Annoying. Alright. Please, rockfish. Magma fish. Magma fish. Fish of the magma. There we go. Locked out. Because he's probably gonna push me out and kill me. Oh no, he pushed me up high enough, thankfully. Right, that was uh, surprisingly good out of bounds. And that's why the silence flute is useful right there. That's a very good out of bounds. So, we might be even. Walk through uh, Dinjum Drives actually wasn't that bad. A lot of encounters toward the end, but they were all quick. So, a minute 14 from now. So, minute 14 puts us at 6. Well, it puts us at about 7 minutes flat when I'll get into this encounter down here. And we're gonna go for an agility glitch. 
put us at 99 probably 98 maybe I don't know I don't remember how much this gives you I think it's like three for whatever reason despite this dungeon being kind of large it doesn't give you that much but it's, it's a bit of a yeah is a bit of a shame words are hard Exactly east until I get into an encounter. Namely, this one. Please don't be a rocky. Yay, it's a rocky. Uh. Lower than slow. I need it. Yeah, that's about three. Alright, and we're gonna fight Argo himself from out of bounds. Because why not? I'm glad you enjoyed it, Shadow. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Alright. Let's fight this goober from out of bounds. If we're lucky, he'll walk really, really far. Like, all the way up. That would be... terrible. Thank you for the luck. Come on. I don't want to do this. Good. That's where I wanted to be, right there. What they should do is close range attack now. Two. A little too close, I think. Do your long range for once. Please. Four. It's not a good fight. It was a shame. But whatever. We didn't. It, this is this part split, so. Come on. Love this game. Can you please just do your own range attack, dude? Come on. Sucked a lot. That was all that encounter. <sighs> all that time lost was that encounter. Boss fight is terrible. But there's still time to be saved. There's so much time to be saved everywhere on this run. Oop, don't want to do that. I want to go back in. Right, right, right. Like, I almost have a minute, almost two minutes, well, my PB is 18 flat on uh, Silvering, but like, some of best is a low 17. Zels, there's like two minutes there, Shilf, or Nepti, uh, there's probably another solid minute and a half of gold that hasn't happened. Shilf, I think, probably is about as good as it's gonna get, um, in reality, uh, assuming I get good RNG on the Nepti split for, uh, agility, like, time loss on... So the fact that I actually save time on the shelf split is 
disappointing because I had to do an extra round of agility training because I missed out on some from not getting the the lucky encounter the first time you go to um Isle of Sky. Fargo, I think there's just a mild bit of time to save on that split, not much, gold-wise. Guilty, obviously, there's like two minutes on this split. <sighs> My PB. Bogus, the gold, or my PB split, I think it's quite good. Bogus is, I think I lost like a minute, something. Which is like, there's actually a, a large amount, a lot, lot more time than I thought uh, to be saved, really. A really, really good run would be probably sub 2, actually. But a tolerable run would be 205 or less. I think that's as much as I can tolerate this RNG, really. Hopefully, I'm not going back and forth. I'm not paying close attention right now. I know this whines a lot, but I haven't been playing a lot of attention. I've been going upwards mostly, so I should be fine. Good thing we not to fight them. They are extremely slow. Again, another big time save for having all this agility is you don't have to do these encounters. Please. Oh, I actually hit one. I thought I missed all of them. Okay, so I was going the right way. <laughs> Thankfully. You could do an out-of-bounds here, but it's... I mean, it's not that difficult, per se. It's more a matter of I don't know it well enough to do it consistently. So you could uh, actually go out-of-bounds and then come back in-bounds. <clears throat> and I think, as it would allow you to skip Fargo, the only downside to that is that you'd have to do more defense grinding a bit earlier, so you probably still want to actually fight Fargo. But you don't have to make that back trip inwards, and I think it would save time because you don't have to do that trip. Just picking up some items we need. I'm going to pick up a safety item that we don't necessarily need, but I don't trust this game, so I'll pick it up. That is this one, which is a <coughs> ceiling spell. Excuse me. I think we picked up two MP items, an HP item, boots, and ceiling spell. Need the boots for Bogus. There are other boots that we could pick up. Um, I don't know if they're necessarily faster. In the scheme of things. <clears throat> In reality, they might actually not be. We're gonna clone these spirits, and then we're gonna die. Gonna go full suicide. <clears throat> Very easily should be able to get to 32 before I'm guilty. Which is the goal, which is why I stopped at 48. That was an ugly 4. <clears throat> so the way uh, levels work is obviously its own element gives it for each, each level is more power. The adjacent elements, it's every 8 of that element. 
That's why I stopped at 48 fire. And for um, the opposite element, it's every 16, hence 32. I should have, like, 103 agility or something. Yeah, we don't heal there because it stays night if we do this instead. One oh one. Not bad, I should have about- I'll probably do, uh, <clears throat> agility glitch. Uh, when I first enter Brnock Castle. That will probably put me at... 104-ish? 104, maybe 105, depending on how much agility I have. It should give me, like, 3. It won't give me much. Oh, please. Yeah. Please. Thank you for those 38s. It's actually kind of convenient that I rolled two 38s there. If I rolled lower, I had to heal an additional time. I'm walking kind of a spe somewhat specific path, or direction really, not even path, but direction. We want to run into a spirit on the way that's in the middle of the desert. Be look in this exact spot down here, the next one that looks exactly like this will be down there. Over these couple hills. See it when we crest, or go over the crest of this hill? In 18 minutes. There it is. Let's see it now. I don't think this one's a dumb spirit as much as a silly spirit. And there's Shamwood. We had to walk that way anyway. So. Kind of convenient in reality. There's the Werecats. They have 95 agility. We thankfully didn't fight or come across them when I did not have 95. We didn't waste our time. We have 21 MP, so we're in a good spot. Right. Second dumbest spirit in the game is this one. Because you will not see it unless you're seriously, like, on the way back out and you just kind of happen to see it off to the side, because it's over here. You have to walk this pretty specific path. Not so much this part, but the part to get into here is kind of dumb. Out, and it's this little thing to go to it. It's silly. Drift, if you are still here, which chest is an MP item that is not the dewdrop? On the circle of chests, do you happen to remember offhand? I do not. And I think I'm I'm down one MP item because I used the wrong one on um, Nepti. Although I actually am probably fine. I just have an extra mint leaves. Mm. Yeah, I might be fine instead. Just being dumb. So there's a reason we go the particular path of these spirits, because this one happens to be slightly off to the left side. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip these chests. Whatever. And there's like a dewdrop, there's a dragon's potion, a couple HP items, a silver amulet, there's a boots. This one's a golden amulet that we're not gonna pick up. Or no, that's a silver amulet? Golden amulets up top. There's only two golden amulets in the game, I think. I don't know if any enemy actually drops golden amulets. It's like a spirit armor too. Normal amulets, spirit armor one. I think the other ones are spirit armor two. Golden amulets. The one item you never want to see. I don't think we actually ever kill an enemy um, that drops them. Closest thing would be uh, Frog Knights.
Alright. I'm gonna run along the wall over here. Because good programming. There's actually encounters in this area, but running along this wall, uh, there aren't any encounters. It's one of those cases where I think it has to do with the way that you can get encounters. How it calculates that you can get encounters, just like for whatever reason, either you can't get encounters along these walls, or it has to do with the way encounters load. Because I know there are certain spots where you would think you can get encounters. There's nothing to do with like that corner walls, but you can't actually get an encounter. I think it has to do how much of the arena is gone, I guess. I did that one for agility, 104, and yeah, I did not get much. I think I went from 101 to 104, that's fine. We get 105, no, 110 is the next enemy. The 100, we're faster than Judgment, so we get 110, we're faster than Spriggans as well. But unfortunately, to be faster than uh, My Little Pony or um, Pinheads, you need like, 130 or 140. I think the pinheads are faster with 140. I think. Either way, it's too much time spent to get that much agility. Especially when you want to bet on not getting into encounters at all. Second to last spirit in the game. This random room. There's nothing else in this room except that spirit. Don't know why this room has to be like that. They could have just put the spirit in the wall right here and been the same effect. Also, there's no encounters in that room, so it's just a room with a spirit. With no real uh, reason to exist. two minutes here, so hopefully the bogus fight it doesn't lose too much time, we can have really good guilty and mammons. As long as we have really good guilty and mammons, we're fine. If we happen to also have a really good bogus, I'm completely okay with that too. Most likely will not happen. That 410 was a very good fight. Right. Here we go, bogus. Let's do it. Right, I want to run up here. Not that, please. Use your... <sighs> That's just a great way to start this fight off. So unfortunately, I'm going to be casting it slowly. Looks to be miss. 
Oh my god, seven. Good. You spoke too soon, Kazi. You spoke too soon. Eight, nine. <laughs> it happens, don't worry about it. at 9, so it's 14. That's not bad. That was good. one cutter three um I think because I do want twenty-two only two MP items as well that was a, actually a very good fight uh, minus the <laughs> first turn Two fives in there, a four, a three. All right with that. Two fives though. Whew. Casting spells probably not gonna go at the 410 unless we get a, a godly um, focus fight. Hey Leonardo, bye Leonardo. Second to last save in the game. Second to last spirit. Actually, that's the last spirit. <clears throat> right, so we make this quest because our dad went after the Eltale book a month ago. We're a 10 year old kid, so of course we're worried about our dad. books, untold power, all that fun stuff. But, yeah, we're gonna find our dad, get your hi dad, bye dads ready, and we're gonna leave him, because he doesn't do anything. He's basically irrelevant now. Hi dad, bye dad. He does nothing but begin the story. After that, worthless. <laughs> hi dad, bye sad. Hi dad, bye sad. <laughs> pretty fair. It does look pretty sad. He got his butt handed to him. By, I think he fights guilty and gets beat up. Or, or bogus, rather, and gets beat up or something. I don't know. Either way, he says, it's a trap. Don't do it. No, oh, you have to do it. Something to that effect. Alright, he's bogus. He's, he's pretty bogus. He knows he's being used by Mammon, but he doesn't care, so he's just gonna be a mean dude. He's gonna be a rude dude. I mean, your dad's your dad's technically a better spirit tamer than you. Like, that's what they say. He's better than you. So, you know, take that as you will. Maybe he knows some invisibility stuff. That's not cool. I want 
to walk towards them. There we go. Yeah, it's mostly it's mostly the uh, the life hacks. All right, so we're gonna use it a lot of time on the split because I have yet to hit him. So rip all time save. One. Stupid two misses with that. Three. Four. Yay. No, that's three. Sorry. I hit him with a rock one. That doesn't really count. I hit him three times. Four. Five. I was gonna go for it after that anyway. Oh, he gave me three. Usually gives me two. Four off. Yeah. Alright. I mean, that time is totally recoverable in the scheme of things, but <laughs> Mammon's World has to play nice. And we all know Mammon's World doesn't really play nice. Yeah, no. Dad probably went with fire. As it turns out, fire's the worst. Wind isn't half bad, actually, because you get so much- one, you get so much MP from it, and also because you can do it from such long range. Fire and wind. Bleh. Fire and wind would be, like, mostly wind, in all honesty, because you would just sit really far back and cast Wind Cutter 3 and just go... Don't- don't come over here. Stay over there, please. Right, so I'm trying to stay close to these walls while cutting some corners because these walls here are no encounter as well. Yeah. I don't think you can technically dodge Bogus's long range attack. I don't think. I think it's an instantaneous uh, damage thing. I think you also want to fight him from up close, anywho. Spriggans, unfortunately. Apparently you can dodge his punch. <laughs> oh, it doesn't? I actually didn't know that. Alright, I'm faster than these guys, though. I, I mean, I just assume by the end of the game, invalidity is on every spell. Getting a great encounter RNG already. 
had to heal after one of them, though. There it is. Of course. Poor choice to use that, but whatever. Of course. Did I say something? Did I say something stupid? The distinct possibility. Or is it the my little something about the my little ponies? I don't remember what they're actually named. Rider or something. Sounds about right. Something Rider. Tail Rider. That's the one. So for any of you that want to make a video game in, in uh, inspired beer drink, you have your Tail Rider. It's a IPA. A green horse. Or those horse things. Yeah. They're, they're pretty spoopy enemies. Windy horse, yeah. Hey, Epona. Bye, Epona. Yes, Epona. She was the one, I assume, I think it's a she, uh, who captured or put Mammon in the prison a thousand years ago. But now it's up to you to beat up Mammon because he's a, he's a poop head. He's a meanie pants. He's bullying people. This is a no-bully game. Four encounters is not the end of the world. They were at least quick encounters. Ooh. Not out of it. Not out of it by any stretch. Sub to a six? Eh, probably not. It could happen, but I doubt it. Like five, 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 and maybe. I feel like how you don't have to take that super on the outside. Are you kidding me? Go for it. Eight. That's a lot more than eight, but it's eight. Okay, these splits are going to be much easier to run against, though. <laughs> uh. 